Hi everyone, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mauser. I'm a keen bushwalker, tech junkie, and general lover of outdoors based here in Tasmania, Australia. On this channel, I explore all these different passions and even provide the odd gear review. Now, today I want to talk a little bit about inspiration and where I get my inspiration from for the wilderness and the outdoors and all these hiking adventures I've been going on for nearly 30 years now. I have spent my entire life living in Tasmania, in Australia. I have uh, had opportunities to travel all over the world, but Tasmania is always home and always will be. I am absolutely passionate about the place. And one of the main reasons I remain in Tasmania and are raising my children in Tasmania is because I love the bushwalking and the hiking that it has to offer. Tasmania is an island. It's a state of Australia. It's about the size of Switzerland, Ireland, or the state of West Virginia in the USA. So it's a reasonable size. And one of the main things that keeps me here is its diverse range of landscapes. Literally on the same day, you can be on the top of a mountain in the morning in the snow, and in the afternoon, you can be down at the beach. Or you could go for a walk through a nice rainforest. Tasmania is a land of vast, untouched wilderness, and about 25% of the state is Wilderness World Heritage Area. And when I say untouched, I literally mean untouched. A large part of these areas have no tracks, no roads, no access whatsoever. And for those of us that do venture into these areas, it is a serious undertaking. The large majority of people in the state have never ventured into or seen many of these remote areas. I've been hiking some of the less visited mountains and forests of Tasmania for almost 30 years. Even now, I get asked, why do you do this? Why do you go out there? Why do you put yourself through the bushwhacking and the scrub and the pain that is often involved in getting to some of these remote areas and remote peaks. Recently, I paused to think about this. And what inspired me initially, I think, after a couple of little forays into the wilderness, I found this book, The World of Alagus Trahanus. This book, written in the 1970s, is a tribute to a pioneering photographer and conservationist by the name of Alagus Trahanus. Now, Alagus's life had a tragic end. He drowned while trying to save a famous lake in Tasmania. I read this book and just became enthralled and I thought seeing the pictures in it of the mountains and the far-off places that I'd never heard of yet they were literally only a few hundred kilometers from where I was sitting I thought I would love to visit these places. So after reading the book I just kept the images in the back of my mind and started doing more and more difficult walks and each time I just loved being out there. Been in these remote peaks, these remote areas, often untracked and just the sense of grandeur and accomplishment when you're standing on a mountain out in the middle of nowhere where people haven't necessarily stood before. Now to follow on from the book, in the early 2000s and 2003, a movie about Alagus and his prodigy, Peter Dombrovskis, came out. The movie was called Wildness. If the book had me hooked on hiking in Tasmania, then the movie just cemented it, this documentary about these two iconic photographers, conservationists. Now the thing the documentary does, it gives you some video and footage of these areas that I travel to and just to watch the opening scene with these peaks that I've climbed taking you through the southern area of Tasmania. It's just awe-inspiring. There's a few quotes in the movie from Alagus and Peter that I just, just sum up my passion of hiking in the wilderness. Alagus said to his friend Max, every inch of Europe has been trodden on by somebody at some time. Here in Tasmania, maybe I can stand on a hill where nobody has stood before. And that is so true. When you're down in these remote areas, you are, you may be one of the first people to stand on this little peak. But I think the best description of what sums up why I really love being in the wilderness and hiking was a quote by Peter Dombrovskis. Peter said, I go out there to get renewed, to get in touch with the land, to get in touch with myself. When you get out there, you don't get away from it all, you get back to it all. You come home to what's important, you come home to yourself. And that really sums up how I feel when I'm out hiking in the wilderness. You get back to it all when you're out there and it's just a great feeling. And hopefully you'll recognize that when you're looking at some of my hiking videos that are featured on this channel, you'll see just these wilderness and the vistas and the mountains. It's just amazing and not everyone can get there. And that's kind of why I started this channel. So I can share it and show people family, these places where I go to that they may not necessarily be able to visit. Now the, the documentary Wildness, it is online, it is on YouTube. I have purchased it in the past, um, but I did find it on YouTube as well. The link's in the notes below if you want to watch it. It's a pretty amazing documentary and well worth a watch. 
The World of Elagus Trahanus, this book, is very hard to come by now. I'm so passionate about it that whenever I see it at a secondhand bookstore or at a market, uh, I'll buy a copy because it's something I want to hand on to each of my children and for them to keep into the future on their bookshelf. It's a great book, it's got some great imagery. I've got to remember also, this is before digital, the digital era. They're using old school cameras that uh, were quite heavy. Think about walking to the wilderness with this equipment and I often find myself thinking the same. When I'm in the wilderness, I've got all this high-tech light gear. These guys had heavy gear, they'd go out for days, heavy food, and they would sit there for hours or days waiting for the right light, the right color to get the right shot. And they're doing it on film. They don't get to see what the photo's like until they return. And just look at some of their images and it's just amazing and really inspirational stuff. And I always think of them when I'm out in the wilderness on my adventures. So there you have it. Just a little bit of my inspiration for sharing my wilderness photography and videos. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back again. If you want to see what it's really like, then check out this adventure and you'll get a taste of the Tasmanian wilderness and what it's like to venture into some of these really remote areas. Please like the video, subscribe below and join us next time.